Mounted on his dragon, Sea Smoke, Lainor fights alongside his father and uncle in the war for the Stepstones. Viserys and Rhaenyra travel to Driftmark to finalize the arrangements for Lainor and Rhaenyra's marriage. As the prospective bride and groom walk along the shore together, they come to an understanding that the arrangement is entirely a political one and that they both have found love elsewhere, with Lainor being attracted to men. With that in mind, they both agree to do their duties to their families, and afterwards to love as they please. At the opening feast of what is planned to be a seven-day prelude to the wedding ceremony, Lainor dances with his betrothed and exchanges gossip with his lover Joffrey Lunmouth, who has figured out that Rhaenyra has a secret lover of her own, Sir Criston Cole of the Kingsguard. After Joffrey talks to Criston about this, Cole begins beating him. Lainor makes his way through the crowd and tries to throw Criston off of Joffrey, but the stronger Kingsguard punches Lainor in the face and into a table, knocking him out. When Lainor wakes up, Joffrey has been beaten to death, causing Lainor to loudly anguish over his loss. Later that night, Lainor and Rhaenyra are married in a private ceremony while Joffrey's blood is still warm. Ten years later, Lainor, despite trying, has failed to produce an heir with Rhaenyra, though they remain on good terms. Instead, Rhaenyra has three bastards on her new lover, Sir Harwin Strong, Jacqueries, Lucerys, and Joffrey, who Lainor names after his deceased lover. The boys are presented to the realm as the true-born sons of Lainor, who seems to be content with this and is a loving father to them regardless. Like his wife, Lainor also finds new love, in the low-born knight Carl Corrie. While Lainor wants to return to the fighting in the Stepstones, Rhaenyra commands him to stay when the rumors of their son's legitimacy begin to surface. The family also moves to Dragonstone to be away from the Greens, and Lainor is allowed to take Carl with him. Lainor attends his sister Lena's funeral after her death. After the burial, he stands in the sea, where he begins to tear up over having lost his beloved sister. Later that night, Lainor's absence is noted during the altercation in the Hall of Nine. As a result, Lainor decides to recommit himself to Rhaenyra as they discuss their marriage, their son's parentage, and Carl going off to fight in the Stepstones. In a ploy to strengthen Rhaenyra's claim by instating Demon as prince consort, and to allow Lainor his desired freedom, a pretend duel is staged between Lainor and Carl in the Hall of Nine in front of a witness, who quickly leaves to inform Corlys. Before Corlys and Rhinus arrive, a servant murdered by Demon is planted in the hall and burned beyond recognition so as to make it seem that Lainor has been killed. Lainor, who has shaved his head to hide his Valyrian features, escapes on a boat with Carl with the aim of self-exile in Essos.